Cow, thank you very much for the invitation to come and speak here. It gives me great pleasure to speak. And let me start by saying I'm a very proud lesbian woman who has children. I'm a very proud lesbian woman who is also a grandmother. Yeah, I pose there because I know I look good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, I, I think it's important to, to state that this house should welcome gay parents. As a gay parent myself, I have raised my children with standards, morals, and complete respect for everybody. Now, as an African Christian LGBT woman, I want to start today in saying, you know, my greeting to you all is a kwaba, and that means welcome. And when you welcome somebody, you welcome them into your home, into your house, and you welcome them regardless of their gender, their disability. You welcome them regardless of their sexual orientation and so forth. So when you mention about love, and when you mention about harm, you cause harm when you incite what could be seen as a very strong dislike to two people of the same sex wishing to be a parent. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. You know, before I set about talking on the issue, I, I want to share with you, I want all of us, whether LGB or T, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and those of faith and those, of, those without faith, to commit to a better understanding of one another, to avoid tarring a whole and an entire community with a broad brush, to continue defending the sanctity of human rights and the essentials of us as human beings. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I said that. I'm a woman, I'm a black woman. It was only in 1957 where children in Little Rock could not step into a school. Are we going to take ourselves back and roll back the hands of time and say, gay parents, it's wrong? Why? I ask you, why is it wrong? Because as a woman who stands here, I believe I'm a very good parent. Now, you tell me how you measure parenting of same-sex couples and heterosexual couples. Are you saying then, when, if I was a heterosexual woman that's married to a, 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 a man and he passes away, my children that I'm raising, I must go and find another? to ensure that the household can raise these children or a child in the best possible way? I don't think so. It's a testimony to the understanding of the British LGBT movement that has heard that needs to preserve the dignity of people, including those when our differences appear to conflict with each other. And even when there are actively in conflict with each other, that our movement continues to keep the issues of LGBT rights. And I say LGBT rights because we all have rights. We are human beings. <laughs> to continue LGBT rights on a high social and political agenda. That we continue to seek pathways to better understand and respect people. And I think that's the, the common theme for me. It's about respect. It's about love. Do not judge me. Because if you're going to use religion to do so and call me a sinner, I don't think that would be right. Because those without sin, and I quote, cast the first stone. Now, friends, the issue of LGBT rights and gay parents within faith communities is not an easy debate to have without triggering some form of heated um, debate and sometimes, as I said, conflict. It is because we have two sets of fundamental human rights. The right to belief and faith and the right to our own identity. That, again, can conflict and arise about which is the most important if either is, and therefore, the role of the state and society being brought into question. I have many times spoken about 
the, the brutality or often inflicted on LGBT people. And I heard the, pro the, the opposers talk about um, you know, harm and talk about it's not right. I, I think that maybe instead of throwing out stats or asking for evidence, I don't think you need that. I think you just need to, don't, I'm not gonna, inter I'm not gonna allow you. You didn't allow us, I. I think that it's just important to look at respect, love and peace and respect everyone for who they are. And I think it's important that we do do that. I mentioned I am a, I'm a gay parent and I, I don't think I need to stand here and justify why I should be allowed to raise my children. I love being a lesbian, I love being a woman, I love being gay, I love being part of a community that accepts me for me, and I love challenging inequalities. All I ask for is equality, freedom and justice that allows me to be who I am, when I want to be and how I want to be. As long as I am not causing harm to anybody else, I don't see why anyone should challenge me or this house having gay parents. I think the, the title and the, the motion, as the opposer said, is quite woolly. We should be proud to have, you know, and glad to have gay parents. It shouldn't be an, uh, shouldn't be an issue. Now I'm gonna leave you on something which for me is quite fundamentally important. And it's a statement that Bishop Desmond Tutu stated and cited as a quote. And it says, if you are neutral, in the situations of injustice. It means you've chosen the side of the oppressor. Now, nobody is going to oppress me and marginalize me into putting me in a box to say that I am wrong to be a gay parent. So I stand here before you today and I ask you to vote in favor of this motion. Thank you very much.